Hi guys, good morning, happy Monday. I just did some yoga, that's the dishwasher. Um, just did some yoga, my mom and I are doing a 30 day yoga challenge. Oh, I look really white in here. Um, so sorry about that today, it's a Koi Ting rest day, so only one exercise, so that's good today. Just did some yoga and now I'm gonna take a shower because we're getting ready to go buy Christmas decorations and I'm very excited. So I will see you guys after I take a shower. Hey gang, here's the outfit. This sweater is the one I got from Urban and I'm literally obsessed with it. I wanna go get more colors today. This is just a black turtleneck and then my thrifted Levi's. Ignore the mess in the background. But yeah, here's the fit. We're kind of feeling it. I'm obsessed with this cardigan and I need to go get it in more colors, but yeah. <laughs> gang it's way later in the day now um we just got home and we got a bunch of christmas decorations so we're good to, we're gonna decorate for christmas and i'm really tired but yeah i did not vlog a single thing today and that's fine <laughs> and Jalen's little guys on the bottom there and there's the other side and there's the other side isn't it so cute Okay, hey gang, gonna end Monday here. We're just gonna hang out, probably watch a little Christmas movie. Yes, I'm still wearing my good old reindeer sweater, but I'll see you guys all tomorrow because I gotta go to the grocery store tomorrow. Tuesday. This morning I'm about to do a workout. I'm just eating a bowl of granola first and look at our Christmas decorations! Um, I'm wearing our matching PJs. We wore them last night and they're really comfortable so hit up Old Navy for any like PJ game. It looks so festive in here. I'm obsessed. Anyway, today I have to run out to the grocery store to just pick up a few things. We're just gonna have another chill day. Um, working out probably gonna play sims today i've been watching a lot of sims videos on youtube and i just have the urge and i have to start drinking more water because i'm getting so dehydrated and i feel like shit because of it so we're back on the water drinking game let's have a good tuesday okay good morning the grocery store just waiting for my uber to get here um picking up just some like basic stuff but we'll do a haul when we get home and it's freezing cold as usual so let's go Okay hey gang, back from the grocery store. This is what we got. Got a big old bag of uh, clementines and then some tomatoes, cucumber, avocado. We have a bunch of produce left in the fridge so I didn't get that much. And then I have gluten-free bagels for me, regular bagels, um, sourdough bread and like regular bread. And then I got some chopped walnuts and I got a block of cheddar cheese. And then I just got some coconut blueberry yogurt. This brand is so good. It's just the President's Choice brand and it slaps literally every time. And then I got some cream cheese for the bagels, some fresh rosemary for our pasta, a big old bag of oats for some oatmeal because I've just been like randomly craving oatmeal. So yeah, some lactose-free whipping cream for pasta sauce. Ooh. And then some of the good old Amy's lentil soups, the best. Some veggie straws because they were on sale. You already know, my breakfast ovals, had to get them. Chocolate chip cookies, gluten-free, of course. You guys, I've never seen the gluten-free version of the white cheddar Annie's. 
and I literally screamed because I've never seen it and it was the only box left so I grabbed it and I'm really 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 excited and then I got a big thing of parmesan cheese and then a thing of sour cream to make alfredo sauce and then I just got two things of crackers the sea salt and pepper and the regular sea salt and yeah that is what we got here's a little snack cheese crackers carrots oranges hummus water amazing love it it's later in the day Jalen just left for work look at the cute Christmas decorations I'm gonna heat up some leftover soup for dinner and play sims for a bit but the bachelorette is on tonight and I'm really excited to watch I also got Jalen into it so he'll watch it with me when he comes home from work but I'm really excited to watch and all the drama but yeah changed into my little Christmas pajamas um so my body is really sore and I don't know if it's Chloe Ting or just I'm sleeping badly but like my arms literally like ache and I think it is Chloe Ting because it's a lot of like planks and arm stuff and I just I'm in a lot of pain but it's okay we're dealing with it it just sucks and my back is like absolutely destroyed so I'm trying to take it as easy as I can while still working out just modifying a lot but today I noticed a lot especially my hips have been popping in and out and I talked about my chronic pain problems in a previous vlog but they're acting up and flaring up like crazy so I'm a little worried um but it sucks gang dinner is just the leftover soup that i made last week we have so much but it's almost gone now and then just some bread on the side and yeah it's almost patch the rat time okay i don't know what i last filmed but i had some ice cream my body still hurts but i got up and my back cracked like crazy so progress I'm waiting for The Bachelorette to come on and for some reason it won't let me watch it on ABC so I can't watch Jeopardy before but I was really excited to play along and I can't so it's fine. Depressed but it's fine. Also y'all, Alberta announced today that it has locked down again except indoor dining is operating at... Restaurants are opening at 25% capacity and then the malls are open and everything, but like no social gatherings, no weddings, no funerals, church services are limited, no banquet halls, anything like that. So we're waiting to hear about Jalen's work, but it really doesn't matter because we get to stay here till his contract is done. So yeah, we might just be chilling just the two of us in lockdown, which means these vlogs are gonna become quarantine with me vlogs or isolation with me vlogs. And honestly, like I was talking to my mom about this and I think the second time around, it feels more comforting because we know like what's on the other side. But at the same time, it's also scarier because like we shouldn't have to be doing this again. Like we should just follow the rules the first time so we aren't in this situation. And you know, it sucks because I'm going back to school and I don't have a job. And I don't know how I'm going to get my job back now because of the lockdowns. And it's just... I feel like there's different unknowns this time around than there was the first time around because the first time around there was all kinds of like scary unknowns and this time like there's just different scary unknowns and I think it's like yeah it's comforting to know that we know what to expect but it definitely isn't ideal and I don't really know how I feel about it yet um obviously I know that it is for the best to keep people healthy and keep people safe, especially if we want to be able to see people for Christmas and for people to be able to go home and celebrate with their families for Christmas. I really think it's important, but at the same time, it just sucks that this is still going on and I just am ready for it to be over. And uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but my family is in Nova Scotia and obviously I live in Toronto. And if you're from Canada, you know that there's a thing, the Atlantic bubble. And the Atlantic Bubble is all the Atlantic Canadian provinces, and they're all bubbled together. Well, PEI and Newfoundland like left, but uh, anyone entering has to quarantine for two weeks, and it's really difficult to get in right now. And the flights are almost a thousand dollars, so I haven't seen my family in almost a year, and I'm definitely feeling it as Christmas gets closer. The fact that this will be my first Christmas without my mom or my grandparents or my sister, and it's just really hitting me that I might not see them until next Christmas so that's how I'm feeling just a little honest conversation it just sucks I really miss my family anyway I'm gonna call it a night because the bachelorette is coming on and I heard there's a lot of tea so good night
Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's a beautiful sunny day to be locked down. Jalen still has work though. Also don't mind my eyebrows, they are falling out. My eyelash extensions, not my actual eyelashes, but I'm about to make some breakfast because I'm hungry and then work out and uh, yeah. Over here making some breakfast, eggs, spinach, pepper, cheese, gonna do some Okay, I'm um, gonna do some toast on the side, and yeah. Okay gang, no reason to panic. The fire alarm went off because someone was smoking in their room. So I just went all panicked to go downstairs. And as soon as I got downstairs, they were like, haha, someone was smoking. And I was like, thanks. So now I'm gonna work out, good. Coaching done, abs are on fire. I was super unmotivated to do it today just cause I feel like gross my period came this morning. <sighs> my abs are literally burning after that. Like that was so good. So now I'm gonna do yoga. And so I'm just feeling good. I'm really red in the face, but it's okay. Just finished the yoga. That was so good. It was a lot of back bends today and my back feels so free. And I just ordered Starbucks on Uber Eats. I got a venti iced chai latte with oat milk, cold foam, Sal the salt sea salt the smoked sea salt topping the best topping and two pumps of gingerbread in it is it full of sugar yes do i care no so i'm really excited this looks so pretty do you guys follow anna on tiktok because she always gets this so i decided to try it she gets it with vanilla bean powder but they wouldn't let me do that on the outside to gingerbread but look how pretty this looks ah! okay we're gonna do a live taste test did anyone see that time? of course she was <sighs> to mix it i'm not gonna do that but Hey gang, making dinner. This is the situation. Very excited. Okay gang, it's 7.30. Just playing some Sims and about to eat some ice cream and just had to figure out a stupid Sims glitch, but it's fine. And um, yeah, that's the evening. So I think I'm gonna end Wednesday here. Tomorrow I have a few errands to run. So I will, of course, take you along as I always do. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, happy Thursday. Just making some breakfast. Then I've run a few errands, so let's do it. Just about to do some yoga and then we're going to head out. Yoga's done. It was a little, it was crazy actually. It was a lot of like side body stretches, which I really needed. So I feel really good. I feel very stretched out. No complaints. I got my period today, so we're not putting in any effort. I just have my hair in a bun. I have to wash it. Jalen's hoodie and um some purple leggings and that is what i will be wearing because um you know this is a no effort kind of day yep okay gang home for running errands i got some more sourdough bread because the one i got is not good it's not it so i got a different loaf from a place i actually know they have good sourdough got some gruyere cheese and a big block of orange cheddar because i forgot to get orange cheddar last time some more cream cheese I don't know if I told you this, but the gluten-free bagels I got were actually gluten-free buns. So I got gluten-free bagels. Never tried this brand before, but really excited to try it. They look really good. Got some more baby carrots for hummus because we were out. Another bag of oranges because we literally like ate that whole bag in like three days. And I already have one advent calendar, but Quinn, who's watching this, has a Reese's one. And she also has two, so I wanted to match with her because she's my best friend. So I also got a Reese's one, so... Here we go. Yes, I did in fact just order this Starbucks drink again. Oh, come on. Okay. Did in fact just order Starbucks at five o'clock at night because I was craving this fucking chai tea latte drink that I had yesterday and it's so fucking good. So I did order it again. And I have no shame about it. I'm on my period. I can do whatever I want. So let's enjoy. I look like trash. <laughs> Um, anyway, Jalen just went to go to work, so I'm about to make some dinner soon, maybe, we'll see. Um, and then I'm just gonna finish the Queen's Gambit. 
Also, you season three was just announced, and there's a baby bottle on the promotion poster, and if there's a baby involved, I truly don't know how the season's going to go, so we'll see. Anyway, that's what's happening, and yeah. Hey, there's actually been a change of plans, and I'm going to see Jalen's show, which starts in 15 minutes. Likely, it's only right across the street. Um, I'm wearing just these little dress pants and this little shirt thing. Um, I kind of look like trash, but it's okay. And before anyone comments, I am sitting in a private box thing away from everybody else. So I'm not going to be near anybody. And also, Alberta is shutting down tomorrow, so... His show is like over, at least for the next three weeks as of tonight, and I want to be able to see it. So, and I'm wearing a mask the whole time. I won't be taking it off. So, that's the situation on that. And let's go. Hey, gang. It is midnight now, and we were just hanging out after the show, just up in our room. Ate, got some takeout. It was all good. It was fun. But we're going to go to bed. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow, we find out if Jalen's show is still happening. So, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Friday today, happy Friday. It's Black Friday, but we are not going to the malls because COVID. So we're just gonna hang out and sit. Oh, what was that? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> um, we're just gonna hang out instead. So I already worked out this morning. It's one o'clock now, but it's fine. For breakfast, we're gonna try one of these bagels. I'm very excited to see how they taste and then just some orange on the side. Yep. Okay gang, I'm heading out to chapters because I want to get some books to read during lockdown. I only brought like three with me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go pick up some books. And then I will come back and I will do a little haul of the books. Other than that, we're just having a really chill day. So let's go buy some books. <laughs> It's later in the day and I'm home from chapters and I'm going to show you a little haul. I was in there for a long time because I love chapters. First thing I got were two rolls of wrapping paper for Christmas. Um, I got this really cute like polar bear one and they were 50% off so good price. And then this little cute like reindeer fox one. And then I wanted to get books because lockdown, so here we go. Impulse buy, and it says, does this ring make me look engaged? <laughs> Hold on. Like, does it? Does it make me look engaged? This was like such an impulse buy, and I think these things are really stupid, but <laughs> I thought it was cute, so I got it. Okay, now on to the actual best part of the haul, the books. I got six books. I kind of just went in and like read backs of books and picked what I thought sounded interesting. So first book is called Sadie and what struck me was like the cover. I just really liked like the simplicity of it um, and the little like thing on the cover says if she dies she takes the truth with her and what I'm gathering is that there's like a call to this radio station telling the radio host to find this girl named Sadie and she's basically running to try and get like revenge for the person who killed her sister so I thought it sounded really good I love like murder mystery mystery suspense novels so this sounded really good these were all found in the like teen young adult fiction section so I got another murder mystery suspense novel it's called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I thought this one sounded really good as well Can you hear me? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Guide to murder. And this one is basically with this girl who was murdered by her boyfriend. And the boyfriend kills himself. But uh, this other girl grew up with the guy who was said to have murdered the girl. And she doesn't think it's something he would do. So she chooses to investigate the murder. Pop sounded really good. I also just really like the cover of this one as well. So I picked this up. One more suspense novel because I love suspense. And I really love young adult suspense novels. So this one is called The Good Girls. Not to get... 
I didn't realize I did this. Not to get confused with A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is just The Good Girls. And again, love the cover. I am I know they say don't judge a book by its cover, but I'm very much a cover buyer. Like if I like the cover of a book, I will buy it. So this one is, again, about a murder of a <laughs> teenage girl. And there's three different suspects. And um, yeah, it's like a mystery to find out who murdered the girl this plot reminds me of one of us was lying which is one of my favorite books we haven't read it very similar plot okay the next one is called permanent record by mary hk cho chow i read her other book um emergency contact last year and it was such a good like cute book and i really like her cover and i like her writing style so honestly i didn't read the back of this i bought it because i liked the author so i don't know what it's about so I'm really excited to read this. Final book I got is just a cute little YA romance called mm. You Say It First. This is about this like girl who um, works at like a call center and she has with this guy and they're obviously like complete opposites and then they fall in love is what I'm guessing happens. And again, cute cover. So that's what I got at Chapters. Yes, I went a little bit overworked with the books, but I haven't gone book shopping at Chapters in the longest time. So I told myself I would treat myself. So this is what I got. Well, yeah, that's my Chapters haul and let's make some dinner. Go to make dinner, just ordered Starbucks. I got a matcha today, not a chai, just a regular matcha. So we're gonna make some dinner and then we're gonna hang out. All right, gang, here's dinner, homemade alfredo, topped with some fresh pepper, some parmesan, so let's dig in. Okay, gang, it is shower time. It's almost nine o'clock and my hair is disgusting because I haven't washed it in a few days. So we're gonna take a full shower, exfoliate, shave, face mask, the whole shebang. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all what I do to get my skin looking like garbage. Just kidding, my skin is actually better than it used to be because I started putting a lot more time into it. So the first thing that I do is use the famous CeraVe. Um, this is the foaming one for normal and oily skin. I really like this one at night and then in the morning, I use either the Ordinary Cleanser or the um, Inky Squa Salicylic Acid Cleanser. But I use this one at night because I find it just gets everything else. But before I do this, the layer of water. I always go in with this and then one of the big cotton pads and this really helps get all of the dirt off your skin like it's actually kind of disgusting how much dirt you get off so you just give a little shake you want to like soak soak the cloth and especially because you are wearing masks so much now I just have so much dirt on my face and this step is like really important Now that is done and tonight I'm using the ordinary I'm using the glycolic acid toner from the ordinary but I only use this every other night because it dries out your skin if you use it too much other than that I use like a normal toner yeah and then you take your small pad this up pour onto your cotton pad what's really important is swiping in an upwards motion so you're not bringing the dirt back down into your pores <laughs> Final, well, second last step is using the niacinamide um, serum from The Ordinary. Again, I switch between this. When I use the glycolic acid, I use this. And when I use the other toner, I use the lactic acid and the rose of oil on my skin. And I just find that they make my skin look really good. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to use this vitamin E oil. It just helps smooth out your skin. Um, Jalen got it and really like it. So just like pat it on. 
it's really important to not like rub your face too hard. Um, a lot of people just like rub stuff in, but when you pat, it doesn't damage your skin as much. So now we will do this and you don't want to use too much of this. Like just a little bit is, is good. I do one, two, three, and then one on my nose. And this is harder to dab in. So you kind of have to like dab it around like this. You look a little silly. Also your face looks really oily, but I promise it's not. <laughs> I was gonna do a face mask tonight, but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow so Jalen and I can do it together. Is to moisturize, and I just ran out of my CeraVe nighttime moisturizer. I have to get more, so in the meantime, we're using the Ordinary moisturizer. Yes, most of my skincare is the Ordinary or CeraVe. What are you gonna do about it? And again, you don't wanna rub, and you just wanna rub like in. Hello? <laughs> Circles. I love washing my face at the end of the day, just like to get all that grime off from the day. Feels so good. And yeah. Happy Saturday. Another low key day here as it has been all week. So yeah, let's Let's have a Saturday. <laughs> was doing some editing getting ready to do laundry other than that not much is happening today at all good morning happy sunday last day of the week today we got the usual bagel with avocado and cheese we're gonna eat that and then we're gonna hang out and i'll take you guys along so let's go hey gang here's my fit by the way oh my god Here's the fit. Um, we're just out doing some extra Christmas shopping because the mall is like dead. So yeah, just finishing up some Christmas shopping. This is just a little outfit. And um, yeah. <laughs> Jalen, I did get these pants though. Um, they're just these really cute like sweats and they were like 
10 bucks. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, thank you so much for following me around this week. It wasn't very productive, but I feel like I showed some cool, fun things that I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you for all the support. Like, honestly, just baffles my mind every single week that like over 100 people watch these videos and like people enjoy watching me on camera do nothing and that's crazy to me so thank you guys it truly 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 means the world to have so many amazing viewers and yeah i will see you guys all next week bye guys